Painting is, it feels increasingly complex. It's like the more I know, the more I realise, the less I know, if that makes sense. The landscapes that I seem to end up resonating with me are those that are, uh, have a lot of space around them. So the Mallee, the Wimmera, Lara Pinta, and Lake Munga, of course. The Yings interest me too, because there's sort of a spatial thing, but there's sort of a micro thing happening with them as well. So all of those landscapes that I've, I've mentioned, they, have a, they all have a, a resonance about them. There is, I'm, I'm reluctant to use the term spirituality about them, but they do have a presence that um, just speaks to me. The working routine is probably start usually three or maybe 4 a.m. in the morning, go through till about 11 a.m. and then the light shifts in my studio, so it just makes it a bit hard. And by then I'm getting tired anyway. I like to see the, the sun come up. I like the stillness of the night. There's a, there's a strange magic that happens at night time when you're working in the stillness. You hear the birds early in the morning, you hear the weather. That's, that's typical and I just work every day, really. When, when I'm engaged with a, with a landscape, I'll stalk the landscape for a long time. I'll look at it at different times of day, during different seasons. The light's different at different times of the year and I'll just sit. Often the landscapes that people might pass their eye over are of most interest to me. They're nuanced and beautiful, really. So there's kind of a, there's kind of a simple pleasure. Increasingly, I'm far more interested painterly in terms of a lot of pictorial space, but not a flat space. So the challenge is how can I, in a painterly sense, make that space alive to be able to look beyond that space, like you do with the landscape. Things are never what they seem. And also, I guess the challenge or the strange dynamic is being in a landscape, sitting there, looking at it, maybe working, but then somehow coming back to the studio and transferring what I'm looking at and what I'm feeling using paint onto a flat surface that resonates with people. It's still a, it's a bizarre concept if you think about it. And it's, it's deeply, um, it's physical, it's psychological, it's, it's emotional, and it's very complex, very complex, particularly when you're not painting the landscape as it is. I'm mining something far deeper here with the landscape. It's, it's just this, this resonance that it has, and it does get literally under your skin.